the Brad and Kyle Show. What's up? Coming to you from Middletown, Delaware. We're at the G. Carter Classic. Going on 43 feet. Um, all the left lanes hook like an arrow more. It's a lot of fun. Not gonna lie. It's early. The past couple tournaments we've started at 9. Today we're starting at 8. Devin. Good morning. You tired? You're tired? I said, are you tired? Oh, no, I'm not tired. You're not tired at all? I'm ready to go. Have you had some caffeine? I've had no caffeine. No caffeine? No. Are you fasted? Like, are you completely nothing in your no, body? No, I had a waffle. Ooh, okay. So I'm sugared. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I normally fast, but this morning, I'm kind of hurting. My body just, like, needs, like, some kind of sugar, you just know? Drink a bunch of like, water. Because I'm tired. Drink a bunch of water. That's what yeah. I'm going to do. It's actually what I'm going to do right now. Can you get me a water? Yes, I can do that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nick, what's the game plan? Tell the vlog your game plan. I try to hit the pocket. Didn't do a whole lot of that in practice, so no? I'm gonna try to do that now. Practice wasn't good? Nope, practice was not good. <laughs> didn't think, think drilling a ball was gonna help either, so. What ball did you drill? I didn't drill a ball. Oh, you didn't drill a ball? Because it wasn't gonna help. Hey, man, you just gotta use your tricks. I hope they you pushed, your hand. A, pushed a different button. That's what I hope they did. <laughs> Here's a look at our rack. Oh, idle action. Brunswick urethane. This is the ball I drilled. A little bit of fused. There's two. Halo Vision. Timothy. You know, what are they doing putting us on the same pair? I don't know. I don't know what they did. I think they're just trying to make us feel inferior because our balls won't curve as much as BJ's. <laughs> I know, BJ's going to make us look like, you think he's going to play straight? I think he's going to hook him. Um, you, you playing straight for sure? I'm playing straight. I think I'm going to try and play straight for sure too. I'm going to try and play straight. BJ's going to hook him though, right? Oh yeah. I can't believe we ended up on the same pair. That's so crazy. It's, it's like they felt bad for us. I think that's what it was. <laughs> I think Russ felt bad. <laughs> The storyline of the morning is the Tangs, Michael and Darren thought we started at 9 o'clock. Did you get my water? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> I did not get your water. Uh, Darren and Michael, they thought we started at 9 o'clock and said 8, 8 a.m. this morning. And so they're going to be a few minutes late. What? I'm letting everyone know. I, is, that, is that throwing them down the river? That they're dumb? Hey, you can't call them that. That's name calling. Learn how to That's your read. Guy. <laughs> Learn how to read the PBA.com and it'll tell you what time we start. <laughs> 8 a.m. is a little early. Are the tanks late? Yeah. Tanks are late. They're gonna they're gonna get here. No, we're not staying together. We're staying in a hotel this week. Yeah, last week we were staying together. Yeah, stay if we were staying Norm. together, they would be here. Staying with Norm every week. Staying with Norm and cold water. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So many people have excuses to why they aren't successful. I have this going on. I can't do this. I can't do that. What happened? He told me he was nervous. He's never had this many in a row this swing. <laughs> so he's still trying to figure out how to, how to deal with it. Everybody back? <laughs>
All righty, we have completed the qualifying portion. <laughs> the, I feel like I, I feel like I start every uh, little scene off with, okay, we have completed. Um, I went 128 over. Mr. Devin himself here went 100 over, shooting 160 the last game. I saw that start. He was open, open, open for 27 in the third. <laughs> but hey, he got to 160. I did. And he got to 100 over in a check, so. Um, you know, the pattern's interesting. The, the best way I can describe the difficulty of the pattern is, is in golf you have like these putts that are big breakers left to right, and then you have putts that are like straight, but really uphill, and then really downhill at the end. And the patterns out here, it's kind of a tendency of this Brunswick machine is, uh, the difficulty is it likes to hook a lot in the front part of the lane, but then not hook in the, the back part of the lane. And when the, when the pattern doesn't hook in the back part of the lane, that's when I have historically struggled. And so today I stayed in there, you know, I did okay. I, I came out of the gate 260 when the pattern was pretty blended and then they got tricky and cliffed and all those things. And then the last couple of games, I was able to sneak out a 240 and a 220. When a lot of times I, I kind of struggle with doing that, to be honest. Um, so just to get to 128 over and to, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get in and, and get a check. Um, I do want to give a shout out to a couple people that I've talked to the past couple of days. Sometimes I get way too high and way too low and at the end of blocks I'm just kind of mentally exhausted and I, and I wanted to really work on cleaning that up and I, my goal for today was to, I wanted to feel exactly how I felt at the beginning of the, the, the block. Uh, just kind of normal and, and, and not stressed and, and, and I, I, did, I did well. I, I really feel like I just, I, I feel exactly how I did when I started the block. So, um, but I do want to give a shout out to a couple of people. Tati, uh, Francois, Francois Lavois' uh, girlfriend. Um, she has, she's been talking to me for a couple of days. And then Matt Farber, I had a conversation with him yesterday and they gave me some tools to use to try and help my, keep myself even keeled. And I truly think that if I didn't talk to them, I wouldn't have been able to post 240 to 20 of the last two games. Uh, Matt Farber is in the sports uh, mental uh, space, mental training. performance training space. Uh, so I want to put his uh, information in the description below if you're looking for something like that. We all can get better at it. I mean, mental game is just, it's the most important and it's something you can always uh, get better at and it's always important to focus on it. So I'll put Matt Farber's information in the description below if that's something you're looking for. Um, then give him a shout out. Also, the music by Kevin Williams, he's a good buddy of ours. He's out here n normally, most of the time. He's spending some time working on his music and taking a little break from bowling right now. Um, but I wanna thank him for sending us some songs. If you wanna listen to more of his music, I'll also put a link in the description below uh, for his music as well. Devin and I are going to eat. And then what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do today? We're gonna hang out and chill. We're gonna edit some video. Hang out and chill and edit some video. <laughs> All right, B-Squad coming up. Game five, Sharknado update. We have a few strikes. What are we seeing out there? Uh, you know, we made a ball change off the last pair, and now we're just trying to be as forward as we possibly can be and just control the pocket. Uh, they're pretty tough pair to pair right now, so we're just trying to blend everything out and make it a little easier on myself. What are you guys doing behind me? I took another player to our Oh yeah? Yeah, hey. we, bet, we bet that I would shoot on a hey. 200 game. Shark Needle update, game six. What's going on here? So we uh, we switched ends from the high end to the low end. And uh, had a, oh, we got pins on lane one now, so that's good. Um, first shot, didn't ball change, didn't do anything different. Tripped to four pins, so I was like, okay, cool. 
And then we get up on the other lane, 3 6 10, make the move off the trip four and at 2 8. So we put that ball away. Uh, and then we made a ball change. And uh, I've, only, I've only thrown one good shot. So we'll uh, see what it does on the other lane. So, Kyle, how's the block going? It's been a, uh, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. Chris, how's the block going for you? Uh, it's been very, very consistent as far as score-wise, and I've just been trying to be really patient and, uh, you know, control the pocket. That's a really positive outlook. Yeah, I'm pretty much the opposite of that. I was balls to the wall early, and now I'm just pissed off. <laughs> Hey, shut up, Nick. All right, so we are done here with the block. Um, it was a freaking grind. No, we are. We already turned them in. So Scott Denler, Danny or Ross? Whoops. I signed my sheet. Anyway, um, it was a grind. Started off really good. Shot like 750 out of the gate. Had really good ball motion. Was making good shots. I uh, was carrying everything, and then uh, and then they got weird. The transition hit like one game. I had the front five, finished with 2-0. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> and then like uh, another game, I go open, open to end for 190. So I definitely had some more score out there, but I should should have put up like a top 10 score. You know, it's like every week. The lanes are tricky unless you can figure it out. Then you can shoot some scores. So anyway, that's it. Um, I don't really. Ooh, look at this. Look at this pretty. Say hi. <laughs> She's doing the outro for the vlog right now. So, <laughs> Say, I'm tired. So it I'm was hot as heck in here. Daddy didn't bowl too good. And it's time for bed. Right? So right. At least Kyle right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll end on that. That was yeah. good. <laughs> oh, one last thing as we are finishing our edit over here. If you guys want to check out our free gift, click the link in the description. Join our email list on updates that we're doing. All the time. Is that good? It's good. It's good. See you guys tomorrow.